as everything unfolds. Hello. That was Hi. good. What up? How you guys doing? Really well. How are you? Living the dream as always. <laughs> I mean, you must be absolutely psyched right now between the band having the recent live stream, tour announcements, your debut record is officially out, and now this huge pulse of the Maggots 2X21 announcement. So you really are living the dream. Tell us a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, it's been pretty mad. Like, every, everything sort of come at once, you know, with the pandemic and everything. Everything was so quiet for so long. Mm. And then everything sort of come at once, which is, it's like Christmas, but not Yeah, Christmas. it really is like Christmas. Either the Christmas or loads of buses, you know? <laughs> and then they all come at once, oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, it's yeah, it's 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 been it's been really exciting, and we are super hyped to be on all these things. So yeah. Um, have you guys gotten a chance to do like any live streams or shows or anything since you've been back? I know like the UK has been pretty much uh, locked down for a long time. So is this going to be your grand return to the I guess the virtual stage? So we just did a live stream that came out two days ago yeah the weekend yeah. for our album release show a little bit delayed just COVID and everything as you know of course but I think, um it's going to be more in person coming forwards this saturday this <laughs> this, this this saturday at download pilot which we are so we're so excited to do um maybe there'll be some more virtual ones as we go because i mean we had a great time it's just it doesn't feel the same there's no atmosphere you know, right. I miss people. I miss people at this, uh, you know, in the crowd. It's not the same when you do it to a camera. <laughs> people miss the bands. I miss the bands. So I 100% oh, oh. agree with that, dude. I miss bands so much, man. <laughs> it's been so long as well. Yeah. yeah so uh, I guess uh, what can we expect? Backflips, kickflips. Uh, are you, what, what are you guys just going to be getting all of this out? I mean, well, you, uh, you talked about the download pilot, which I'm sure is just going to be an absolute like ridiculous um, atmosphere, even though it's going to be 10,000 people. But like you were just saying, 10,000 people versus zero people is going to oh. be like an absolute like <laughs> dream come true, I imagine. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's weird for us as a band because we've grown so much over the pandemic in terms of our like fan base you know we we didn't so sort of, we, we released our debut album during the pandemic so before this we were kind of nobodies and all of a sudden we're coming out the other end of it and we're suddenly playing to ten thousand people and you're like whoa like you know the last time <laughs> we played it was probably like 50 people then. yeah literally so, so you know for us it's such a, a even weirder experience because this is such new ground for us yeah it's, it's a bit nerve-wracking i think I'm, oh, oh, yeah. I'm a bit like i'm excited <laughs> ooh, ooh. like it's a big you know, for 50 people to like tend to, I'm like, oh, shaking yeah, my hands. Big job. Like, oh. <laughs> Have you been doing anything a little bit differently to kind of prepare from going to 50 to 10K or is it just shaking all those nerves <laughs> off and going up there and kicking some butt? I don't know if you could see, my, with Charlie's lovely assistant, we're on the, going to be on IEMs. We've just bought, um, and we've just ex like invested loads of money in like some new like gear and we're doing pre-production literally right now yeah. in the middle of it. So, um, oh, so there's, there's stuff like that we haven't done before. So all this is kind of new territory and it's great because we've learned so much about how live shows work at that level. Cause obviously we, we, we didn't play with monitors. We just played with whatever the venue had. Yeah, and yeah. Now we're kind of getting to this point where we're all going, oh my God, we can hear what we sound like. <laughs> so, so it's it's been it's been a weird and interesting experience, but I'm super, sure. super excited for it. Yeah, and I think that that speaks to uh, the hard work that you guys have been doing. I mean, like, we've all had to weather through this whole thing together, right? But coming oh, yeah. from the other side with, you know, 50 fans versus 10,000 fans and then beyond, because I think the download pilot's probably just going to be a, uh, a kickstart, if you will, like a strike of the match while everything starts going. Uh, I'm on, obviously, uh, you can hear from my accent, I'm on the other side of the pond from y'all, <laughs> and I won't be at download until next year. Uh, but, like, I'm starting to see the shows ramp up here, um, and I think that that's going to be a taste of things to come hopefully uh what is uh in store next for uh, as everything unfolts yeah, yeah so we, we just um today literally announced that we're going on tour with holding absence um for the uk and nice. europe so uh, and it's with yours truly as well so um so which is gonna be really really cool because obviously mm -hmm. um and with brexit everything's been very unsure so we weren't sure whether we were going to be going to Europe soon or whatever. So, you know, fans were quite pleased that actually we're, we're trying to get there as soon as we can. Um, Cause we went there last two years ago and yes. it was, it was incredible. So yeah, it's, um that's kind of the next thing that we'll probably do. Next step. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you're incredible. 
Yeah, no, it must feel incredible. You're kind of seeing that light at the end of the tunnel. You have all these tours and festivals and, uh, of course, Pulse of the Maggots coming up. Yeah, and yeah. I know one of the biggest things that's happened for you recently, it was just an incredible accolade, and that is the fact that on the inside, that hit over one million streams on Spotify. Yeah, I can see it right there. You're pumped. So just what was kind of running through your mind when you heard that massive number? I don't think we really believed it, did we? Like, <laughs> we're just like, wow. We were just okay. like, every every day, we're like, nah, it's got, it's got to drop. Like, uh, yeah. you know, it's, 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 <laughs> it's going to go down. Slope, yeah. You know, we thought, you know, when the album dropped, you think, oh, you know, you get all your playlists and you kind of get, everybody's kind of on the hype, listening to the album, looking at the press and stuff. And it's just not stopped. And for us, that's such a weird thing because we just expected it to sort of dip and it just, and it's still going. Aww. So we're just like, we're so thankful for everybody's listening to it. It's, it's to, hit, to get one song hit a million yeah. streams, I think, Huge. From yesterday, the album hit four million streams overall. Is it? Yeah. Oh, so on spot, just on Spotify. Rest. So, so for us, know. we're just like these numbers are so far away from what we're normally used to, and it's um, um it's so bizarre. <laughs> I want to let you know. I think it was actually five million. So uh, we'll just pump really, that up for an extra mil. I believe that's what you guys sent out. I, I may be incorrect, but I feel like, like I saw five. Five across all platforms. It might be. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We get delayed information sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, as long as you have the info in the end, that's a huge thing. So again, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. Yeah, we'll be adding at least one or two more uh, streams to that. On my show, The Breakdown, we're going to be digging into all the Pulse of the Maggots bands and everything like that. So obviously, we will be showing everybody who hasn't heard so far as everything unfolds. So uh, it's a preview for those of you in the chat for a little bit later tonight. Right. And one thing I did want to bring up with you uh, is the fact that you've shared before how this album, it's far more mature than your Closure EP. And that's definitely attributed to the fact that you are all being friends first and then bandmates second. So what would you kind of say is one of the attributes or qualities you happen to love about your fellow band members the most? I don't know, should we go? Is, is we, they're the all outside, so we can't slag them off. <laughs> <laughs> we're all chaotic in the same way, aren't we? Yeah, Surely. we're all... We're all a... When we come together, don't we? we're like, it's all madness, and then it's like, okay, now it's go time. Now now we have there to... Yeah, one of them to come in. No, it's... Oh. um, it's <laughs> We are just... You know, we all have the same sense of humour. We all enjoy this because we enjoy it. You know, nobody's in this for money. Nobody's in this. We're all in it for the same reasons, and it's... Yeah. I think we all just click, you know, when you just got chemistry with people. And I think that's really important when you're in a band with people because you can't work with people that you just don't get on with. It's it's not a good environment. It's, it's the same as any work environment. So that's how we kind of treat We like our team building activities. Yeah. So. It's like having a team of misfits, isn't it? That's what they say about you see all these all the good bands. It's always, it's always people who are just like, I don't know where I fit in. I don't know what's this. And you find like a family in a band or like, stronger bond than possibly any other bond you could have you know it's like it, it's, it's an extended family it's a second family you know i think that's very important to keep it you know mm. that's so lovely <laughs> <laughs> i'm glad you guys went like the heartfelt well, route. Anyway. we'll go oasis like a couple of hours down the line we'll go like proper no and, oh uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> But when it comes to bands, I feel like everybody kind of has that dream tour in mind and you guys have so much on the horizon. So I wanted to ask, uh, I, I feel like your dream would be to hit the road with my chem. You can totally correct me if I'm... Okay, there we I go. Agree. I don't think yeah. that's... Wait, <laughs> wait, this would be great fun. It, 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 He's I, like, I'd take it. Yeah, yeah, um, literally. Oh no, we have to tour with my chem. Oh. <laughs> Oh, the whole what a bummer! I know it's like yeah, oh, no. it's totally but, um, stuck. <laughs> it's, it's, one of, it's one of those things. It's like a personal thing for me. I mean, it's quite unlikely these days, but it's it's even just know. even just to like do a show with them would be. I think I'd probably cry the whole time. <laughs> so I wouldn't see anything. Just by the but, side of the stage, like I love you. Yeah, so that that that, that would probably be um, a bit of a dream for me. Yeah. Sure. Okay, well, I just wanted to ask, uh, Stay Puff, do you happen to have any more questions for our fantastic guests before we say goodbye and check out one of their tracks? Uh, no, I think I'm all set. Um, really looking forward to y'all on Pulse of the Maggots. Uh, really super stoked that y'all are going to be touring Europe because um, I know that that was uh, you know up in the air type of thing, and I know that uh, yeah. Holding Absence uh, has a, a pretty uh, growing fan base themselves, so I think that those shows are actually going to be uh, off the chain. Ooh. No, I'm absolutely 
Fingers crossed. No, I'm absolutely psyched about everything. And I just want to say thank you so much to As Everything Unfolds for joining us today. And of course, be sure to check out their debut album, Within Each Lies the Other. Catch them on tour with Holding Absence. And of course, tune in to their Pulse of the Maggots 2x21 set on June 25th.